we have just started our first all-electric shuttle service at Zion National Park. If you come to Zion this fall, you will be able to ride on an electric shuttle at certain times in the town of Springdale. What you can see behind me is one of the first of our new all-electric fleet. These 40-foot shuttle buses are the first of a fleet that will completely replace our propane-powered shuttles and that we're looking forward to providing service in Zion Canyon with starting sometime next year. The existing fleet here at Zion is more than 20 years old. It is powered by propane and it's coming to the end of its service life. When we looked at options for replacing the existing shuttle buses, we settled on getting electric shuttles primarily because they offer a lot of benefits, not only to park visitors, but to the park itself. Electric shuttle buses are quieter than our existing fleet, so they're going to contribute to a better soundscape here in the park. The vehicles that we're sourcing are also larger and feature air conditioning, which is something that we know a lot of visitors and drivers are really going to enjoy on hot days here in Zion National Park. The new buses, the new buses that we're going, going to be using in Zion, in Zion and also in the town of Springdale offer a number of benefits, numbers, not only to, not only to the, park itself, the park itself, but to visitors. But to visitors. These buses are air-conditioned, air conditioned. they're low they're step, low step meaning, that meaning that unlike our existing, unlike our existing fleet, fleet, which has three, three steps, steps in order to, get, in order to, get, cabin, to get to the cabin, you can step, you right, can on step right onto the bus. Even before Even it kneels, before this bus is only two inches above the curb. Once you get inside, Once you get the, bus, inside the bus, there are there features are that features help, share information, help share information with visitors. We're looking forward, We're looking to, taking forward to taking advantage of a number of new technologies, number of new technologies so, that we can share so information, with, share information visitors, with visitors, not only not at only park visitor centers, visitor centers, but on shuttles, on themselves. shuttles themselves. Right now, we've received five electric shuttle buses. These are part of an all-electric fleet that will begin to operate starting next year in Zion Canyon. This work is being primarily funded through a grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation. The U.S. Department of Transportation gave Zion National Park a grant of about $30 million in order to pay for these shuttle buses that you can see behind me. One of the things that we struggle with here in Zion National Park is that we operate in a very narrow canyon. The place where most people want to visit, there really isn't all that much parking available. And so in order to make sure that everyone who comes here is able to enjoy Zion Canyon, we started operating the shuttle system a little over 20 years ago. Since then, we've recorded 90 million boardings onto our shuttles. To juxtapose that number, something to keep in mind is that in Zion Canyon, there are only about 300 parking spots. Operating the shuttle system here is essential to accommodating everyone who comes from across the United States and around the world who wants to enjoy this spectacular place. Well, our existing fleet is coming to the end of its service life. And we know that, as with any new fleet introduction, we're going to have to climb a learning curve to make sure that we're able to operate these vehicles sustainably. But we know that the benefits that they offer are going to outweigh that process. So we're really looking forward to folks coming here and enjoying riding on our all-electric shuttles. Well, I appreciate your asking about that. So at this point, we've taken delivery of our first five battery electric vehicles, and they're going to be operating in the town of Springdale. They're actually already operating there if you want to go for a ride tomorrow or for the rest of our shuttle season. And then next year, depending on the manufacturer's schedule, we're hoping to take delivery of larger 60-foot articulated buses that will be able to accommodate people in Zion Canyon. So stay tuned. We've definitely got more to share.